some scissors here. Lots of you have probably seen scissors before, and I want to tell you about them today. Scissors are very useful, but you might have noticed they are a little bit sharp. So, we have to use them very carefully and make some good choices with our scissors so that we can use them for what they are meant to be used for. So, the first thing you should know is if you are walking around with scissors, you might have seen me before, I hold the sharp end like this, so that everyone can stay safe when I'm walking, I can stay safe, and the people around me can be safe. It is not safe to walk around with scissors like this. So make sure when you are walking around with them, you're always covering the bottom part, the sharp end. Now, let me show you how we can use these scissors to cut. Here I have my scissors and I have a piece of paper, I'm going to cut along this line. So I'm going to show you first how to hold your scissors for cutting. So I want you to put at least two fingers in the bottom and one finger on top. You're going to hold them like this. Do not hold your scissors like this. Do not hold your scissors like this. Okay, two in the bottom, one on the top. Maybe you might be able to fit three of your fingers on the bottom. That's okay. And then I'm going to cut like this. The smaller hole with one finger is on the top. So here I have my line. I'm going to go slowly. Do you see how the sharp points are facing away from me? Please don't cut like this. That is not safe. You want to make sure the sharp edges are pointing away from your body. So I can keep cutting the line. And I'm going slowly so that I make sure I do not cut anything I'm not supposed to. Scissors are used for cutting paper, not for cutting other things. So, in our classroom, we're going to be cutting a lot of paper, but that is the only thing we'll be cutting. Let's look at one more thing I can cut. Here I have a rectangle. So, it's not just one straight line, it's a lot of straight lines. So again, here is how I hold my scissors. I'm going to cut slowly on the line, away from my body. Sometimes it's easier to cut off one whole part and then I can do the rest of it. I can move my paper around and cut the next line. And move my paper around, cut the next line. And move it one last time and cut the last line. See how I went slowly so I could cut on the lines. It's okay if you don't do it perfectly, but it is important to go slowly so you can do your best work at cutting on the lines. I hope you have fun cutting today. Stay safe.